I personally find beauty when we see the natural and the built worlds come together. There's an elegance to it. There's a challenge to it. I'm a structural engineer with a passion for work that has societal relevance. So we look at problems at the intersection of the built environment and natural hazards and disasters. I grew up in Melbourne, Florida on the East Coast and there was sort of this constant threat of the hurricanes that would strike uh, the coast and I think that certainly inspired me to look at the power of nature and how it affects the built environment. Her work really looks at how do you make sure communities can withstand nature and the hazards that are out there, but also how communities can be more resilient to these hazards. We're looking at what we refer to as multi-hazard resilience modeling. Instead of looking at individual threats like an earthquake and how bridges perform under earthquakes, we try to look at these multiple hazards or multiple threats that a system might be exposed to over its lifetime. On a hurricane, we have rainfall, we have wind, we have storm surge and waves. So it's this combination of hazards that we explore. You can't look at these things in a silo. You have to look at all the interdependencies that uh, are around them. And that really makes it the work much more complex. We look at issues like the Houston Ship Channel and the confluence of industrial development and hazardous materials in the face of severe storms. We are working with natural disasters. And the impact that they can do in the communities is really large. There is a lot of uncertainty of what could happen if this type of events occur. The bridge is a classic example where certainly we want rigorous models of that, the performance of that structure. But we also look at the role that it plays and seeing how we can improve performance of that entire network to serve society. We're able to develop tools that predict and project how systems will perform because that's where we can make real impact on improving public safety. I can help model exactly what the risks we're facing currently and offering solutions in how to have a, a better, more resilient tomorrow. We will literally save lives with this work and sometimes that's disconnected from the work that we do and I think Jamie really gets that and she's always gotten that. Even as a student, she's gotten that and that's why I think her work is so impactful. These are pieces of infrastructure that we can easily take for granted, but their failure can be catastrophic and we are doing everything that we can to help avoid that.